Let's talk about some important properties of numbers. There are three properties we'll look at today. The commutative properties, the associative properties, and the distributive properties. You've probably heard of some of these before. We'll begin with the commutative properties, and there are two of them, one for addition and one for multiplication. Here's what they say. Suppose you're going to add two numbers, 3 and 5. You can add 3 and 5, or you could do 5 plus 3. Either way, you'll get the same answer. When you're adding two numbers, the order doesn't really matter. In symbolic notation, we would say a plus b equals b plus a. The same is true for multiplication. We have 3 times 5, which gives us 15, and 5 times 3, which also gives us 15. It didn't matter which order we multiplied those two numbers, they came up with the same answer. In symbolic notation, we say a times b equals b times a. The commutative property only works for multiplication and for addition. It does not apply to subtraction or division. Next, let's take a look at the associative properties. The associative properties involve adding or multiplying three numbers. Suppose we have 3, 4, and 5, and we're going to add them together. If we add 3 and 4 first, we get 7, plus 5 gives us 12. On the other hand, if we were to do the 4 plus 5 first, we'd have 9. 3 plus 9 is 12. Notice in both cases the answer was the same. When you have three numbers to add, it doesn't matter which two of them you add first. In symbolic notation, we say a plus b, in parentheses, plus c, equals a plus b plus c, in parentheses. Remember, the parentheses are the numbers that we're adding first. In multiplication, the same thing is true. If we have three numbers to multiply, 3, 4, and 5, it doesn't matter if we multiply the 3 and 4 first or the 4 and the 5 first. Either way, we'll end up with 60. And in symbolic notation, we can write that exactly as it is, a times b times c, where a and b are multiplied first, or a times b times c, where b and c are multiplied first. Either way, you'll get the same answer. These rules do not apply to subtraction or to division, so be very careful. The associative property only works for addition and multiplication. Finally, everyone's favorite property, the distributive property. The distributive property is when you have a number out in front of a set of parentheses and then a polynomial inside. We distribute that negative 5 by multiplying each of the terms inside by negative 5. That gives us negative 5x minus 10. Exercises 5 through 9 ask us to determine the property that's being illustrated. We have the commutative property of multiplication, commutative property of addition, associative property of multiplication, associative property of addition, and the distributive property. Determine which each of these illustrates. Please pause the video here and complete the exercises. Exercise 5 shows us that 3 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 3. That's the commutative property of addition. Exercise 6 shows us that 7 times 8 is the same as 8 times 7. That's the commutative property of multiplication. Exercise 7 shows us that if we're adding three numbers, 9, 302, and 7, it doesn't matter which two we add first. 9 plus 302, then add 7, or 302 plus 7, and then add 9. That's the associative property of addition. Exercise 8 shows us the same thing, but with multiplication. We have three numbers to multiply, 12, 3, and 7. 12 times 3, and then times 7, is the same as 3 times 7, times 12. That's the associative property of multiplication. Exercise 9 can be a little tricky if you don't look closely. Notice that the only thing that changed is that the 6 times 2 and the 12 switched places. That is an example of the commutative property of multiplication. We simply changed the order of the numbers. This is everything you need to know to get started working with a commutative, associative, and distributive property.